Welcome all. You uh, will have seen on the webpage at mergingwaters.ca forward slash worship dash online that you can download the order of worship to follow along if you'd like. If you have another uh, device, that is uh, something that you can do. Or most of the words of the prayers that you'll be asked to join in and also the hymns will be on the PowerPoint on the screen as well. So you uh, likely won't need the order of worship to be able to follow along. And so I welcome you all to this service here of Merging Waters Pastoral Charge Union Church in St. Anne and Beau Repair United in Beau Repair Village of Beaconsfield. And my name is the Reverend Ryan Fay, and I welcome you in the name of God. Je vous souhaite toutes et tous la bienvenue au nom de Dieu. And I welcome Christine Bryce to lead us in our announcements for today. Hi, so welcome everybody uh, to our first Zoom service. I hope you find it a new way to connect uh, live and see everybody. I hope uh, you enjoy it. And uh, I bet everybody like me had to dress a whole lot better than they have been for the last few weeks. So um, just to, Ryan has gone over pretty much everything I have on my list. So, but please do keep yourself muted because that can really affect uh, other people's uh, con contributions to the service. Uh, we are going to use the chat function to enter prayers, so you might want to just check where that is on your screen if you want to enter names for prayers. And also, we're very grateful to Jen today for being our um, facilitator, keeping people muted, making sure people are uh, accessing the service. So thank you to Jen. And that brings me to my uh, uh, next announcement, which is that uh, I'm looking for people to be announcers much like we used to do community news uh, up uh, in the sanctuary. If anybody uh, feels uh, called to help in this way, like I'm doing right now, I'd really appreciate your contribution from Sunday to Sunday. And don't forget uh, to keep an eye on our weekly newsletter. And also if you like to join in our Zoom Friday church cafes. Thank you very much and let us worship. Thank you, Christine. Let us join in our territorial acknowledgement. Merging Waters Pastoral Charge is located on land which has long served as a site of meeting and exchange amongst indigenous peoples and nations. Merging Waters honors, recognizes, and respects these nations as the traditional stewards of the lands and waters on which we meet and live today. As we gather in to our worship a little deeper. Let us find a prayerful place with our feet firmly on the ground, finding a seated, upright, but comfortable position. And let us breathe into this moment, experiencing the breath of life. Take a deep breath in through your nose gently and out through your mouth. Let us invite the spirit into our hearts and into this time together as we breathe in and out and experience the breath that moved on the waters at the moment of creation. As we move deeper into our worship, let us take a moment of centering with the musical centering.
Sandy and Al Davis were unable to join us live today, but have provided leadership for some of our readings and our spiritual focus. So let us join Sandy in saying the spiritual focus. The spiritual focus comes from Psalm 104, verses 24 to 34, and from Job chapter 12, verses 7 to 12. Your part, as usual, is in bold. O Lord, how manifold are your works! In wisdom you have made them all. The earth is full of your creatures. But ask the animals, and they will teach you. The birds of the air, and they will tell you. Yonder is the sea, great and wide. Creeping things innumerable are there. Living things, both small and great. Ask the plants of the earth, and they will teach you, and the fish of the sea will declare to you. These all look to you to give them their food in due season. When you open your hand, they are filled with good things. The hand of the Lord has done this. In God's hands is the life of every living thing and the breath of every human being. Our opening hymn this morning comes from More Voices, number 135, called by Earth and Sky.
precious the fire that lights our way bright dawning clay higher a passion sorrows and our faith just as one called by earth and sky promise of hope and light this is our sacred living trust treasures of life sanctified called by earth and sky Thank you, Keith, for your leadership in that wonderful song. Let us join in, sang in unison, our prayer of approach. Holy wisdom, we see the destruction in the world around us and hear the cries of our fellow humans and creatures affected by climate change. We call to you, guide us, teach us, inspire us, forgive us. And you say, I have been your guide and teacher. The whole cosmos bears witness to my wisdom and creation itself is the revelation of my love. Turn to the plants and animals, the sea and the sky. They will show you my wisdom. And so we say, open our hearts and minds to all the wisdom of creation as we gather in worship today. Amen. Our first reading comes from Job 12, verses 7 to 12, and will be led by our uh, good friend, Alan Davis. And as always, our portion will be in the bold. Scripture reading uh, today is from the book of Job, uh, chapter 12, verses 7 to 12. But ask the animals, and they will teach you, the birds of the air, and they will tell you. Ask the plants of the earth, and they will they teach, teach you, you, and the, the fish, fish of the, of the sea, sea will declare, declare to you. you. Who among, among all, all these does not know, know that the hand of the Lord has done this? In, hand, in the hand of the divine is the life of every living thing and the breath of every human being. Does not the, the ear, ear test words as the palate tastes food? food? Is wisdom with the aged and understanding in length of days? Our gospel reading comes from John verses 1 to 5 and will be led by Sandy Davis. The gospel reading is from John chapter 1, verses 1 to 5. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was in the beginning with God. All <laughs> things came into being through him, and without him not one thing came into being. What has come into being in him was life. And the life was the light of all people. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness did not overcome it. Once again, thanks to Al and Sandy. Although they couldn't be here today, they were able to be with us in spirit and in technology. I ask that you join me in prayer. May the words of my mouth and meditations of all our hearts lead to actions that awaken your dream for this world, loving God, fulfilling your will and your love to all, our rock and our redeemer. Amen. What wisdom do we receive from creation? What do plants and animals teach us about our relationship with them, with God, with the planet, or with one another? 
After a couple of months of pandemic lockdown, we were all exploring a newfound appreciation for going for walks. And I saw something that I felt was an example of nature sharing its wisdom with me. Last year, I'd seen one little brown rabbit around the neighborhood. This year, with fewer humans about, I saw at least three that were out together at one time. As we all got more active and did more outside, there were fewer and fewer animals around once again. The wisdom of animals? There is a grace and beauty to wildlife that holds our attention. A peace that we find in plants, in forest glades, in shrub and flower that calm us. Listening to whale song, watching eagles soar above the clouds, literally stopping to smell the roses, standing at the water's edge and watching a blue heron take flight can bring a sense of connection with the world around us. The wind's kiss on our cheek brings an appreciation for being alive. Looking at the recent impacts of climate change, we have seen that we can certainly have insights into how our actions impact the lives of animals, plants, and us humans. Fire destroying habitat and home. Wildlife and human lives taken. We have seen overpopulation and poverty infringe on nature to the point that it, the understanding of overcrowding is significantly involved in the spreading of COVID-19, a virus received from nature that continues to threaten us today, burning through the most vulnerable human populations like the wildfires that swept across the Western part of our continent this summer and most of Australia before that. The smoke from these fires spreading across continents and even around the world. We have been inspired by the majesty of the whale who found her way into Montreal Harbor, confused by sonar, chasing prey, or just curious. She drew crowds as she swam the waters of the St. Lawrence. We have seen her corpse wash ashore and learned that she died by human hands. Uncertain if it was the toxins we dump into the water or the boat that collided with her that finally did her in. And yet we are reminded that, that the divine is in every living thing. Life is the light of the universe, the spark of eternity. The light that gets into the cracks like grass growing through pavement. We are called to seek wisdom within life around us as a reflection of the wisdom and love of God. And if we look at the way animals and plants respond to change, interact with their environment and respond to our actions, do we find that there is a seeking of balance? A wolf pack over hunting herds of caribou will be plentiful this year but starve the next. Deforestation leads to landslides and increases erosion. And yet the promise of God's wisdom remains. Reforestation reduces soil erosion, allowing populations of animals that have been used for food to replenish helps to reestablish balance in the environment. Even if one in five trees survive, is the plan to plant seven billion trees a faithful one? That's still one billion four hundred million trees. What does this divine wisdom speak to us and where does it speak through us? If over exploitation of natural resources causes a shortage and suffering, do we show wisdom in reducing our consumption? Much of the recycling we used to send overseas wound up in the waterways of India and China, impacting water and eventually sea life. 
What does the impact on plants and animals? Choking on plastic teach us about the wisdom of choosing reusable containers and reducing packaging. What does it say of that divine spark or light if we choose alternatives to single-use plastic? Reducing our dietary intake of meat significantly reduces carbon dioxide production. Would eating vegetarian meals even twice a week help sustain and protect creation? If within each of us lives the light of the universe, can we be guided by that light? Can it help light the way? What does it say to us that, this, that a reduction in eating red meat or meat at all also reduces heart disease in humans? If within each of us lives the light of the universe, can that light be shown through embracing the balance, the interconnectedness of which we learn from the lives of plants and animals, those with whom we share creation? How will we listen to the wisdom of creation in our lives and in our community this week? Thanks be to God. Amen. Normally in our weekly worships in person, this would be the time that we pass a collection plate to receive the offerings. And I would recommend that we take this time to, if possible, use the links that are provided through the website and the order of worship to support the work and mission relationships and lives of the community at Merging Waters, but also to reflect upon our offering of action through listening to the wisdom of creation. How will we respond to that this week? And how will we offer that to one another and to the divine? Let us reflect as we offer up and experience the musical offering. Wonder is the beginning of wisdom. The invariable mark of wisdom is to see the miraculous in the common. The simple things are also the most extraordinary things and only the wise can see them. It is oft times nearer when we stoop than when we soar. Knowledge speaks, but wisdom listens. Patience is the companion of wisdom. Wisdom is not a product of schooling, 
but of the lifelong attempt to acquire it. It is the supreme part of happiness. Wonder is the beginning of wisdom. Let us join in our prayer of dedication. May these gifts fulfill your work in the world, Holy One. May the relationships that they support lift up others, giving a voice and dignity to the oppressed. May the new life this mission gives to the world be one of life abundant for all. Amen. As we come to the time of prayers of thanksgiving and concern, uh, we, we have a tradition here at Merging Waters of lifting our prayers of joy and our prayers of concern so that they may be brightened as they are lifted in joy and lightened as we share the burden of concern together. I would ask that we continue that tradition in joining in our prayers of joy and concern and that in preparation for participation, if you would uh, you can, uh, certainly there will be a point where you're asked to share prayers of joy and concern. And so you may want to make sure that you have your chat window open and available. And that way we may all lift those prayers together by seeing them and make sure that it's sent to everyone. Let us pray. Holy wisdom, we rejoice in the signs of your power in evolutionary creation and the unfolding cosmos. From the stardust of the galaxies to the plankton of the sea, from the oasis in the desert to the crowded city, all creation is infused with your power. Make us ever mindful of the inspiration that infuses all creation. Pain bearer, we hear the cries of creation and of our brothers and sisters, human and every other kind, the world over. Climate refugees, species in danger of extinction, victims of war and economic injustice. Those who suffer the ravages of illness, of COVID-19, of cancer and other illnesses. And especially for those people and places we name at this time in our global context. We lift the people of the Sudan as they deal with war and suffer the impact of Canadian arms sales to their enemies. At the same time as our people seek to feed and shelter and protect them. We remember also those in special need in our own community and families who we name at this time. Over. We also lift in our prayers 
of support and care, George and Doris, Susan and Jean, her barb as she heals from her continuing surgery healing and for Reverend, Reverend Steve Gillum and Glenn and family on the passing of Ruth, the family and friends of Gord Patterson we lift as they grieve and for Mike, whom we lift in our prayers. Extend the balm of your healing power, we pray. Each week, the people of Nagunhaga Regional Council lift our prayers for a different pastoral charge. This week, we lift them for Granby Pastoral Charge, Abbotsford and Granby United Churches. May their lives of faith and ministry continue to be a blessing to the world. Life giver, we pray that your wisdom revealed in all your works may inspire us to live in right relation with earth, our mother, all her creatures and the whole human family. May the harmony of creation be a model for our relationships with our neighbors near and far, teaching us that we are not self-sufficient, but only thrive through a constant exchange of energy and elements, love and language in the web of life. O oh, great teacher, we give you thanks for the wisdom of indigenous peoples and the unique insights of the many expressions of faith and spiritual practice in the human family. Wherever there has been hatred, oppression and exploitation, bring truth-telling, reconciliation and respectful communion. Help us always to pray and act in ways that are in harmony with divine wisdom and to use our talents and resources to serve the good of all. And let us all say together, Amen. We continue in our worship as we Join in our commissioning hymn, number 307 from Voices United, Touch the Earth Lightly. Touch the earth lightly, use the earth gently, Nourish the life of the world in our care. Gift of great wonder, ours to surrender. Trust for the children tomorrow will bear. We who endanger, who create hunger, agents of death for all creatures that live we who would foster clouds of disaster god of our planet forestall and forgive let there be green birth from the burning water that bled and air that is sweet health in god's garden hope in god's children regeneration that peace will complete god of all living god of all loving god of the seedling the snow and the sun Teach us, deflect us, Christ reconnect us, using us gently and making us one. Let us join in our commissioning. 
As you leave this time of worship and prayer, we go into the world drawing on the senses. Sight and hearing, taste, touch and smell. Mindful, aware, mindfully aware of the wisdom of creation and its power to make you whole. Amen. Hard to get this. All right. May the blessing of God revealed in all creation of the Holy Spirit who is our wisdom and of the eternal Logos present from the first moment teach, inspire, and renew you in body and spirit and keep you in solidarity and communal joy. Amen.